What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode we made our way around Colony 9 and did some more side quests. And well this episode we've actually got a couple more quests to complete around here in Colony 9. I knew we'd be doing quests for quite a while, uh, but there's just a couple of things uh, that we need to take care of first. So, uh, let's get started. It's not a whole lot I promise. Uh, oh, uh, we won't be getting to any story uh, content in this episode still, but, uh, we are going to be finishing up all the quests that I want to complete up, uh, here inside of Colony 9, uh, in this episode. So first things first, let's head right in here and talk to, uh, Gregorio, or Gorgio, Gorgio, or Gorgio, or whatever, I don't know. I'll say Gorgio. I've probably been pronouncing that wrong this entire time, but whatever, because we've met this guy before. Uh, so Gorgio, what do you have to say? I didn't have to say this, but since I started spending more time with Paola, my curry's gotten worse. People keep saying it's not how it used to be. They can't finish it. My home life is more fulfilled, but work's gone at the dogs. It's safe to say I've hit a slump. Ah, oh, this is crisis, yes? Well, Ricky, it's definitely a problem at any rate. So it's, it's seriously life or death, Knight. You know, my daughter's the most important thing to, in the world to me. But I can't give her nice things if I'm not making any money. I'll be honest, another favor to ask you. Could you go and find me five locks of Peronix Row? It'll go great in the curry. It's only a stopgap. It'll do until I'm back in the curry mood. I must admit, I have some doubts about this plan. <laughs> I don't know. It's an idea. I think it'll stop my customers losing all their faith in me. I gotta keep up appearances. For the sake of your family. Alright, so we need to collect five locks of Peronix Row from Peronix's on the by honest leg. And, uh, somehow I don't have any of those. Do it for Parola, not for me. Wait, did I say that once already? Easy peasy. Hereupon, take care of it. Yes, I too will give it my all. Alright, so we need to head off to the bonus leg. So, um, I'm actually going to meet you guys on over there. However, I'm not going to meet you in the place that you would expect. So, um, remember this guy, Garugu? Um, he actually has the trades that we need. So, um... We talked to him. Google have looked upon at home. Uh, I don't know why I talked to him. I meant to trade with him. Nope. I don't want to open the menu. But let's trade with him. And if we trade with him, uh, you'll notice that at first he doesn't actually have the item in his inventory. But if we trade for this fleece fur, which we have plenty of. Um, and we have a bunch of items we could trade for it. So um, let's go with these insanity amounts. And when we over trade like this, uh, he will give us a... Oh, oh, oh. And we'll get the Peronax row. And uh, we do this five times. So I'm going to do this. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys back over at Gorgio. Yeah. Alright, what's up, Gorgio? Giorgio? I, I don't know. I keep mispronouncing it. Or pronounce it a different way each time. Whatever. Oh, you got the stuff I asked for. It smells really tasty. And all I need is about three pieces of juicy broccoli. And make my curry that much better. You don't mind, right? Ooh, do we even have those items? I do uh, yeah, we don't have any, and it's a collectible on by Honest Leg. Um, and I don't just mean, like, it's a collectible on Bionis I mean, it's just, like, a random collectible um, on by Honest Leg. So, you can be running around out here for a long time. It's going to be in blue item orbs. Uh, though, I do know that a lot of them are common around here on top of these, like, hills. Um, these are, like, ramp-looking things uh, out here. Um, and also in the... Um, Tyrkin headquarters. So you just run around for a little while and you'll eventually run into three pieces of juicy broccoli. So I'm going to grab all three of these uh, and uh, I'll meet you guys back over at uh, Gorg George, what, whatever his name is, Giorgio or something. I don't know. Well, I was running around out here and I just happened to run over to this area of Bionis Lake. You can kind of see where we are in comparison to that landmark right over there. And, um,. Yeah, apparently chest never despawns. So this has been sitting here for like almost 30 episodes or something like that. Well, not almost 30. More like 20 because we got here around episode 10. Anyway, uh, I'll continue to search for these items. What's up, Giorgio? Oh, you got the stuff I asked for. It smells really tasty. You know, all I need is... Actually, no. This is perfect. Now there won't be anyone saying my curry is awful. Yay, yay. Happy. Ricky, really happy. You did a good thing, Ricky. That's what makes you the hero pawn. Melly say nice things about Ricky. Ricky try twice as hard next time. And all I have to do is get myself back into the expert cooking mode. The better my curry is, the more nice clothes I can buy for Paola. 
So it's time to get my groove back. Thanks for your help, guys. Alright, and that quest is complete. We got some basic items that we'll probably never equip. And we don't get that much XP for it either. Um, I do want to mention, though, that it is quite important. Sorry about that. Um, that we get... Um, that we do all these quests because we're going to want, yeah, four star affinity with colony nine. So we're already doing pretty well on that already. And, um, uh, of course we have Melia and see even Dunban doesn't have a lot of affinity with everyone else. And our affinity chart's actually not looking too great, but, um, oh, well, whatever. It's uh, totally fine. Uh, we'll worry about that a little bit later. Also, here's our affinity chart right now with colony nine. It's quite big. We've talked to a lot of people, um, but I thought I would uh, mention that. Um, but we're going to want four-star affinity with something much later. And um, though it won't be happening for quite a while, uh, you are going to want to go ahead and get that now. Because it will be super helpful uh, later on. So now, uh, let's head over to the residential district. Right over here at night time, we have Tsukazu. What's up, buddy? You heard? Tsukazu and little brother Pond have been fighting over for over ten years. Tsukazu want to go out and see Big Wide World. But little brother Pond always trying to hold Tsukazu back. We've been fighting about this for past 10 years. But Tsukazu nor little brother still no changed mind. Tsukazu want end it now. Tsukazu gotta win. That's why Tsukazu wants you to bring red pollen orb. Tsukazu eat one, his power will increase 100 times. Tsukazu serious is what Tsukazu want to do. It's just that the outside world is dangerous. You can't go out there. Tsukazu never abandoned the dream. Tsuka let me go. You think Tsukazu lose even if he eat Red Pollen Orb? Tsukazu know that. Tsukazu not think he can win too. But Tsukazu might have to try. Maybe Tsukazu can win. And so this is a big brother's fight. Collect a Red Pollen Orb from a location relating to the Na Pond. Um, and I think I know where that might be. Thank you. Don't tell my little brother Pawn. He might get suspicious. Easy peasy. Hero Pawn take care of it. Alright, so that is a Big Brother's quest, but as soon as we do that, um, another quest will appear for us. So I think you guys kind of know where this is going. Um, but also, uh, you can go around speaking to any Napon out in the entire world, um, and you will not find any of them that claim to be related to Shikazu, because his little brother Pawn is actually Jirok here. Uh, so the guy that we delivered uh, biscuits to a long, long time ago. Hello. It might look like me and my Big Brother don't get along, but we do. He's my adopted brother, and I care for him as he cares for me. But I just can't let him go out traveling the world by himself. It's dangerous out there. He could get killed. Our next showdown is going to be the final showdown. I have to win so I can make him abandon his crazy ambitions. Oh, tell me that. There's something you need to tell me. He wants a red pollen orb. Seriously? I know eating one of those things will make him really strong. Looks like he's willing to do whatever it takes to beat me. Do you think you could give it to me? I can't let him win. Tsukazu come so far. How can Tsukazu lose? Now it's time for you to drop this plan of yours, just as you promised. You're going to stay here in the colony forever. Ooh, I lost. I know it's a bit boring, but colony nine's not so bad. And I want my big brother to go away. It'd be no fun without you. What if I never see you again? Aw, that's kind of sweet. And this is a little brother's fight. Um, both of these are timed quests. Uh, I've got, they won't expire for a little while, so no need to worry about that. Make sure to give them to me, not him. Easy peasy. And so that one red pollen orb that we need is only a, available to go to one of those two uh, brothers. And uh, for the sake of the affinity chart, uh, we're going to be doing a little brother's fight. And so uh, what we need to do uh, in order to get that red pollen orb is we're actually going to head off to Satoru Marsh. Alright, you guys might remember Zazaran, the Napan refugee. Um, and he gave us red pollen robes a while back. We talked to him. Zazaran busy getting ready to make more high, high more caviar. Zazaran, no, you helped him. But stop disturbing him. Alright, so he seems to want to have nothing to do with us. But we can literally steal a red orb of pollen. And so now let's head back uh, for a little brother's fight. Alright, what's up, Jirok? Did you get the red pollen orb? So you think I should have it? And he's sure to lose now. I have to give up his dream. There's more to life than traveling anyway. I'll just show him that we can just do just fine here in Colony 9. 
He didn't have a chance. Here I go. And the fight was so bad and so tough that they had to fade to black. They couldn't even show it to us. <laughs> anyway, it's over. Took a while, but he finally submitted. He said, he'll stay here. He said, he'll even make a boat. I always say, there's nothing better than living in peace with family. And just like that, the quest is complete. We got some jungle bottoms, a good bit of money, and some XP. Uh, so nothing too bad there. I'm actually doing really well. Uh, but there is one more thing I want to take care of uh, right down here. Um, and it actually involves uh, our good buddy right down here once again. Sakazu. So uh, what do you have to say, buddy? Long time no see. Sakazu feel quite good since deciding not to travel. You're not so bad in this colony. But there's one thing that's worrying me. Tell here, Panriki. Tell, tell, tell. Yes, I'd also like to know. It's my granny pawn. She dubbed Tsukazu, but she no treat me like family. All because Tsukazu not pawn. Tsukazu's so sad. She never want to see me or play with me. If Tsukazu wants to stay here, he wants to get along with granny pawn. That's why Tsukazu needs your help. Granny pawn only ever listen to what your rogues say. But everyone in colony respect you. So I should work if you try. You've got to help me. I know how hard it can be when things don't go well with family. You understand? It thanks to you that me and little brother made up. Next, Tsukazu make, need to make Granny Pond like him. Alright, and this is stalling relations. So we actually got a weapon for Ricky for this. Um, we're going to collect three lots of maternal armu milk from uh, Plain Armus in Colony 9. Thank you. First, Tsukazu need material armu milk from Plain Armus. That perfect for making biscuits. Easy peasy. Here upon Ricky, take care of it. Yes, I too will give it my all. Then make her feel better. Then, when she's in good mood, give Granny Pond this. The old ring. Interesting. Now, funny enough, um, if you have four-star affinity with Colony 9, now granted, this is not what I was talking about earlier, um, about something very important for some high-level gear, but if you do have four stars with Colony 9, all you can do is go into Sakazu's inventory, and he has his own maternal army milk waiting for us right here. So we can simply trade for this three times while standing here. So he's just giving us the uh, runaround um, for, uh, the armor milk, when he actually already has it, he just wants us to run out and kill some armors, apparently, um, uh, I'm just gonna trade for this, I guess, two more times, then we need to skip through this, he just kind of sends us on our way, and apparently that one, for some reason, wasn't a high enough value trade to give us another item, this knife, you take this too, and another Crabble artwork, which I'm not even sure is any good, uh, but that's all three of those milks, so let's go see his grandmother, and sure enough, she's right where we left her way back before the attack on Colony 9 all those episodes ago. Seems you've been able to help my grandson's argument. Thank you. It was joyful to think Drake might get himself hurt. A present? This is maternal army milk. That will make my biscuits particularly sumptuous. Thank you most kindly. That was a very hard word to pronounce, but anyway. Hmm? Was there something else? Yeah, actually there was. Was there something else you wanted to give me? can't believe it. I never thought I'd see this again. What? Tsukazu gave it to you? This belonged to my late husband. How did he ever manage to find it? The truth is, my husband had a bit of trouble with a group of Napon. That's how he lost his life. Some part of me must have been blaming Tsukazu for his death. Such a stubborn old woman. I've treated, treated Tsukazu so badly. Would you mind waiting a moment? It may be too late for apologies, but would you take these to him? Baking is all I'm skilled at, so biscuits will have to do. I tell him I wouldn't mind if he came to keep me company later. This is Mercia's biscuits. And so, let's head on back to uh, Zukazu. Right, what's up, Zukazu? How did it go? Wh what? These Granny Pond's biscuits. You give them to me? So it was well. Zukazu always wanted to eat these. Because I always just used to watch Jeruk eating them. Yay, yay, happy! Mickey, very happy. Adorable. No, oh, he just makes the nom sound while he eats. Not that delicious. But Tsukazu is so happy. Tsukazu so glad he in Colony 9. Tsukazu so know every day will be happy from now on. Thank you. And with that, the quest is complete. 
So that was Thong Relations, and we got a new weapon for Ricky. I'm not sure how good that weapon actually is. I have to check it out a bit later. But, um, yeah, that was actually every quest that I wanted to take care of uh, in Colony 9. Now, there is one more thing that I'd like to do over in the commercial district. Um, and I mentioned this uh, a little while ago, actually. Um, so we can change the clock to uh, 10 here. And if we do that, we should see her right over here. Yeah, Sonya, you guys remember her. Talked about we need to trade from her. Um, in fact, it is this Minute Mantis. And uh, we have two gravel discs, which just so happened that we are allowed uh, to have just enough money uh, to trade for it. So, uh, let's trade for one of these. Let's do this again sometime. And, oh, we got a level up. Level 39. Oh my gosh, we are kind of over leveled. Um, but honestly, that's good for what's coming up. Because that um, Telethia fight coming up. Uh, I may have mentioned this earlier. Uh, before but um you're gonna want to be uh probably a little bit higher leveled for that fight especially if it's your first time and i think he learned a brand new art oh no apparently ryan did or something Ooh, anchor chain uh prevents knockback blowdown and aggro reduction um that's not very good also uh, by the way i moved around some arts i guess i should mention that um i removed binding blossom from um dunban and added battle eye and i think i'm gonna actually level that up while i'm here because uh, that'd probably be pretty good. Um, uh, for Melia, she learned a brand new art uh, called Summon Copy, uh, which I have set up right here. Um, and um, I've also upped that to level four as well. Uh, no one else really anything changed. I think I added a couple things to Ryan and upgraded one of his auras or something like that. I don't remember. Oh, Magnum Charge up that to level four. Just a couple basic things, nothing too crazy. Uh, but what I was actually in here for is the Collectopedia. So, like I think I mentioned a long time ago, that Minute Mantis is actually in the other section of the Collectopedia. Now, granted, there's nothing we can actually do with this right now. We don't have any of the other items. We need another uh, bug. Uh, we won't be getting that for a very, very long time. So, uh, no need to worry about that uh, right now. Um, but, what I do want to do is I now want to head all the way back uh, to Magna Forest and towards... Um, I guess uh, the um, village entrance. So uh, let's head off that way. All right. And now that we're back here inside of Magna Forest here at the village entrance, I think now it's finally time that we set off to take down that Telethia. So in the next episode, we head off towards these massive trees in search of the Telethia. And so like that... Th uh, with that being, oh, why I forgot my outro. Uh, with that being said, though, that's going to do it all for this episode here, guys. If you guys did like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It's up the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.